Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. Today we're gonna test some slingshot flat bands. What we're gonna do is test tapers. Do tapers make a difference? And then we're gonna test some straight cuts. We're gonna see what happens when you change these measurements on latex flat bands for a slingshot. So stay tuned. At the end, I'm gonna have a little bit of bonus footage. I'm gonna show you the exact taper that I use and what I've had success with for my setup. So stay tuned to the end for that bonus little extra tidbit. Okay, I'm assuming that you're watching this video because you may want to start shooting a slingshot and you want to learn what it's all about. So flat bands are what we use nowadays. You can use tubes too, but this here video is going to be about flat bands. You may be at the point where you're going to want to cut your own bands because you're sick of buying pre-mades and you got all the tools, you got the rotary cutter, you got the uh, measuring device and you want to try experimenting. And we're going to go ahead and check a few different widths and we're going to see what happens. If you don't know anything about slingshots, what I measure my bands in as far as tapers is millimeters. I picked the standard taper, uh, which a lot of people use, which is 20 to 12. 20 to 12 meaning 20 is going to be the, the width of the band at the slingshot. 12 is going to be the width at the pouch here. That's going to be taper number one. Taper number two is going to be 22 to 12. I'm going to increase the size at the slingshot. The last one is gonna be 24 to 12. Those are gonna be the three different tapers I'm gonna measure. But let's go ahead and back this up a little bit. What we're gonna to need to know is what am I shooting and how am I shooting it? What we're going to shoot today is the Kratos. See if it's gonna, there it goes. The Kratos is made by Dan Layton's uh, Strods and Caddies and you can get it at Omega Slings. It's a pinch grip slingshot made out of HDPE and it is clipped. The reason I picked this one is that it's easy to change bands. Number one, that is the slingshot that is gonna be used for every single shot on this video. Next, the, um, bands that are cut every one of them is electric white by omega and they're all 0.5 thickness so that's what we're going to be testing with now as far as elongation the elongation is going to be 500 percent i'm not going for record breaking here okay this is what i'm just testing at a median the median is going to be 0.5 thickness 500 percent elongation eight millimeter ammo all through the same slingshot so everything stays the same except for tapers and straight cuts. Whew. All right, well, we got that out of the way, 20 to 12. So let's go ahead and hit it. Let's get to the crony, see what we got. All right, so 20 to 12, what we came up with on an average is 220 feet per second. Well, that's fast enough for target shooting, right? You could probably even take down a small game, small game, what, like dice, the Rubik's Cube, I don't know. But you could probably take down a chipmunk, well, you can, um, but if you wanted to hunt, maybe you could hunt with it. I don't know, but 220 feet per second. That's where we're at. Let's go ahead and test the next one. Next one is going to be 22 to 12. So let's see what happens when you increase a little bit of the taper at the ta at the end on the slingshot here. So we're going to go from 20 to 22. So 22 to 12 is the next test. And yeah, let's hit it. I think it's going to go a little faster, but let's see how far. Okay, 22 to 12. Well, it picked up the pace a little bit. We're sitting at 227 feet per second. Started off at 220, so we gained a little bit of speed. Now, let's move on. This is the final uh, taper that I'm going to try today, and this is going to be 24 to 12. So 24 at the attachment on the slingshot and 12 at the pouch. That number stayed the same, but we're just increasing the width at the attachment of the slingshot. So 24 to 12 is going to be the last one we're going to test. All right, so 24 to 12, we came up a little bit higher. Wow, imagine that, right? And so we came up a little bit higher, and we're at 231 feet per second average. You gain a little bit with the tapers, and there's endless possibilities. Um, you know, you can buy, I don't have it out here, which I should. I don't know why. I'm making a video, and I'm not prepared. Imagine that. But you can get the, uh, I'll put a picture up. There you go. I'll put a picture right up there. So you can get the adjustable ruler if you want to mess around with different tapers until you get one really honed in. Once you figure out exactly what you want, you can buy a template and uh, just cut, you know, the same size, same width, all that kind of crap for days and days and days because the template makes it nice and easy. So we got some tapers out of the way. You may be thinking to yourself, do I really even need a taper or can I just shoot straight cut? Back, once again, we're using the same exact stuff here, okay? So still 8 millimeters, still the Kratos slingshot, still 0.5 electric white, and still 500% elongation. All right, guys, so straight cut number one is going to be 14. We're just going to do 14 straight cuts. So there is zero taper on this one. Let's go ahead and throw some steel balls down in the old catch box and see where it lands. All 
All right, so we're at 204 feet per second. So that's pretty slow. With that particular ammo, 14 straight cut, we're at 204 feet per second on average. Let's go ahead and bump it up to 16. So 16 straight cut, 16 millimeter straight cut, 16 at the pouch, 16 at the tie-on end to the uh, slingshot, and we came up to 212 feet per second. So it came up pretty decent swing, you know, about eight feet per second, a little higher. Hmm, that's fast enough, right? 212, you can hit some spinners with that. I think with the straight cuts, you may uh, have a pretty decent length, pretty decent longevity, we'll say, because there is no taper. So you got equal amount of latex from both ends. So, the, you know, I think they probably last quite a while. So I guess that might be a benefit of having a straight cut. Let's go ahead and bump it up to 18 millimeter. So 18 millimeter straight cut, here we go. All right, 18 millimeter straight cut, and we came up to 222 feet per second. So it was a pretty big jump again, another 10 feet per second. Now we're back in the same range as, uh, the slowest of the tapers. 20 to 12 got us 220 feet per second, or an 18 straight cut got 222 feet per second. They are similar there. I think, like I said, the, the draw weights on all these have felt pretty much the same. I'm not seeing noticeable differences. So maybe it's a pound or two different draw weight, I don't know, but it's not like one is <laughs> and the other one's like <laughs> They are all relative to each other. Nothing crazy going on here. Like I said a few minutes ago, I think with the straight cuts, you're going to get a lot longer life. But if you cut and tie your bands correctly, which you'll get better after a while of doing it over and over and over again, you'll get long life out of your bands. Uh, some last longer than other, but Omega Slings uh, Electric White uh, last me a very, very long time. Very good bands. So finally, um, what I need you to do, guys. What I really need you to do is subscribe. The powers above say that if you don't ask, you will not receive. So right now I'm asking you, please subscribe to my channel. You know how much latex I had to go through? Actually, actually it wasn't that much really, but it's short draw, you know? So what do you expect? Guys, take a second, like, subscribe, uh, check out my other videos, make sure to hit the notification bell so you don't miss any of this fabulous content. But as promised, I will show you what I use on a daily basis for my taper. <laughs> For a long time, I was using 22 to 14. I just recently switched, and it was actually uh, what sparked interest in making this video. I wanted to venture out a little bit, so I just cut a random one. I maxed out the tips on the slingshot I was running at the, at the time, uh, which is my uh, Titan, Hunter, Titan Hunter Companion, and it has 25 millimeter fork tips. I wanted to max them out. So what I did was I did 25, and then I just went pretty narrow. I went 25 to 12. Results that I am getting, and I also I cut it down a little too. So I went down to about 550% elongation. So I'm still not killing these bands. I could go higher. I might, I'm not sure yet. Right now, this is working fine. Uh, so here's the chronograph of my setup, uh, which is what I shoot, not just for testing, but this is what I shoot. Uh, I shoot either 0.5 omega white uh, or 0.6 omega white, depending on the temperature outside, when it's colder, I'd go up to the 0.6. When it's warmer, I keep it at the 0.5. And what I shoot is uh, 25 to 12. That is my current taper. And let's go ahead and see what kind of speeds we're getting on the crony. And yeah, see what you think. So average speeds are 240 feet per second. That's fine with me. That, that's, uh, that's plenty fast enough for target shooting. Plenty fast enough for 15, 20 meters sort of deal. If I have to shoot farther out, I will have to make adjustments. For me right now, 25 to 12 uh, is, is a superior taper for, for me. Thanks for watching this video, guys. I hope it helped a little bit. I hope it, it will show you that, you know, don't be scared to mess around and change things and try things because that's the only way to learn and keep at it because you're going to get better and better the more you do and even if you think you know something you'll end up changing probably because i thought that that first taper the 22 to 14 was going to be my final landing spot and it's not um 25 to 12 is where i'm liking right now and, and maybe i'll like it for the rest of my shooting career maybe i won't i hope to see you in my next video y'all